Hey guys, how's it going? I am the Conflict Nerd and how about something a bit different today? So this isn't necessarily a game, I'm gonna call this more of a toy or an application or a piece of software. Now I'm not sure how to pronounce it or say it, but this is BeamNG. And what this is, is basically a real-time simulation of soft body physics on a vehicle. And what that means is that every collision, every dent, every ding, every bump and bit of damage that a vehicle takes is rendered in real time and is unique. You know, there's no preset shapes and ways for a car to take damage and crash in this. It is all real time. It's all calculated based on the speed that you're going, the angle that you hit, the obstacle or whatever the hell you're hitting, and the vehicle that you're driving, and there's so many different factors. And it really is very, very interesting. Now, throughout this video, you'll be seeing various crashes and various vehicles and various locations. This is... I don't even know what this is. I think it's alpha or pre-alpha. Like I said, I'm not calling this a game. It is more of an idea, more of a toy, more of a piece of software, but you've probably seen GIFs of it, or videos of it, or people calling it the future of every car-based game, and I'm sort of here to tell you why it isn't, and why it could be, and I know that's a bit weird, but bear with me. So, I don't think this is necessarily the future of car-based games. I, the main reason is this takes so much processing power and it's quite uh, GPU and CPU intensive because it has to render these collisions in real time. You know, these are very, very impressive crashes and you sort of rarely see this kind of damage and detail and realisticness going on outside of pre-rendered stuff and that's one big reason you will probably not see this in something like Grand Theft Auto or Forza. The closest I've seen a game come to this is the original Race Driver Grid which had some pretty phenomenal crashing but it still doesn't hold anything up to this. And you know this is so intensive that it wouldn't work in another game. You won't see it in Grand Theft Auto because that game is already gonna be quite intensive. It's a huge map doing hundreds upon hundreds of calculations based on what civilians are doing, what drivers are doing, what's going on here, what's going on here. Throwing this level of detail into a game like that makes no sense because it's not about the crashes, whereas BeamNG is sort of about the crashes. It's sort of about you know, the soft body physics, and it's seeing whether or not it can be done. Now, I haven't done a hell of a lot of research into this, and I'm gonna hold my hands up to that. I don't know the full history of what the guys are trying to do with this. I've been too caught up just driving around and crashing vehicles to see what the hell happens, because that's something that's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. I will, I will look up, you know, crash tests and stuff like that on YouTube. It's a bit weird, but... It's very interesting to me. Now, something else you can do, which I find really, really good, is you can put the game into some serious slow motion, and it's phenomenally satisfying. And it's also a credit to the guys that made this, because they're willing to slow down the crash to the point where you can see everything going on. You can see the metal of the vehicle bend, you can see the bumper fly off, you can see the axle bending up and breaking, you can see the wheels breaking, you can see the chassis of the car shaking itself apart. You know, you can see all of that, and yes, it's not perfect, you know, sometimes stuff collides through each other and there's a bit of note clipping going on and all that stuff, but it's still very satisfying. 
No, you won't be seeing this. Like I said, it's not going to be in Grand Theft Auto 5. It's not going to be in Forza 5. It's not going to be in Forza 6 or whatever the next bloody Forza game is. You're not going to see it because that's not what those games are about. Forza is about racing. Grand Theft Auto is about whatever the hell Grand Theft Auto is about. I don't even know, but I love the series. But this is such an interesting concept. Because these guys have basically sat down and said, Hey, can we make something that will simulate a car crash insanely realistically? and not melt a PC, and they did it. Now, I doubt we're going to see huge developments towards open world stuff, but they have got races planned and local multiplayer planned, more vehicles to add, more maps to add, and this map that you're seeing right now is basically a big flat playground with loads of objects in it. And that, this is one of the most satisfying ones to play on, because you just drive around and you crash into shit. You know, there's giant ramps you can fling your van up and it's great and... I don't know, it's it's one of those weirdly satisfying pieces of software that you've heard about and you've never quite played. I've known about this for quite a while, I've seen it on Reddit. You know, people on Reddit are always over the bloody things saying, Oh, this is gonna be the future of car crashes, guys! You're gonna see this in the next Grand Theft Auto? You're not but it's still pretty damn impressive. Now, you can get your hands on this for free. There's a free trial of it or pay, I believe it was £10 or £12 to get the full version, and I think you get all the updates free afterwards. But if you enjoy physics sandbox games, this is something for you because it's just so damn satisfying. It really, really is, and I want to see this do well. I want to see more maps, I want to see more vehicles, and I want to see what the developers are going to do with this, because I don't know. Where do you take a product like this? You know, you could probably make a racing game out of this, but the cars handle in such a way that it's going to be insanely difficult, but we will see what the future holds for BeamNG. Right now, it's the most satisfying thing I have to play, and I love it to bits. But that's just me, folks. Hopefully, you will go and check it out. Either way, I've been the Conflict Nerd. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video and a bit of a look at B-Man G. Hopefully you did, hopefully you didn't. Either way, I will see you next time.